it may be another lecture online. It's just another lecture online. Why not give your people something entirely different? We call this program Managing to Have Fun because it's totally interactive and it is the most joyful online networking and team building experience you will ever have. Organizations that intentionally bring fun to work find a decrease in stress and an increase in employee retention, morale, and creativity. Playfair's unique style of team building is based on play, laughter, and non-competitive interactions like this one. Sorry I'm late. Uh, I am the mother of dragons and oh, okay, <laughs> it's been a lot of problems. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Um, I was uh, playing pranks on CJ because she was not following my rules for having. Um, like yeah. We were watching last night. <laughs> when we're working together in an office, it's easy to get to know each other. I mean, people personalize their workspaces, and you can tell a lot about people that way. But that's just not possible when we're working from home. All we see is what's in the computer screen. So we created a little guided tour that we can take each other through our home offices and find a unique treasure that we can share with people. This is a wooden carved uh, camel with a rider. And I got this 12 years ago at the Central Market in Casablanca. Oh, wow. Fancy. 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 Look at that. I was there on business for the first time in Morocco. I call her Sasha and I'm really excited because I'm going to get my hair colored tomorrow so that <laughs> it makes sense to put this wig on. This is a, called a cuddle clone and it's a replica of our dog because my son for his birthday asked for a stuffed version of our dog. The real dog who's over here but my, that's what my son wanted because our dog's not super cuddly and I think he wanted to be able to cuddle with the dog. It's like a huge hit, so. <laughs> People who work together know each other by name, but they often don't know the stories behind those names. Mine is Samantha Kaliswa Agate Regina Mentee Brewster. Don't you wanna know the story behind that one? Names have a meaning all their own. They reveal something about our culture and our heritage. Let's take a look at a group bonding together by telling their own stories. My name is Bjorn, not Bjorn. I was named after the tennis player Bjorn Borg. When I came out, she had no name for me until one day she was watching Bjorn Borg play and she said, damn, he's sexy. I'm gonna name him Bjorn. <laughs> And my aunt kept saying Bajorn. She was like, no, you're saying it wrong, girl. She was like, oh, whatever, it's Bajorn. And she was like, well, you know what? I like that better. She kept the spelling. I couldn't say my name until I was in the fourth grade correctly. <laughs> Jen is just like short, sweet to the point. Um, but my family calls me Jenny. Y los que hablan español en mi familia me llaman Jenny. That's right, the people who speak Spanish in my family call me Jenny. I think that's just like a Spanish language thing. So if you said my name ethnically, you would say, Hanoch <laughs> Nakarti. I was born with the name Frederick, and my last name was Bendel. And then my father disappeared, left my mother and my brother and myself. My mother married an Irish captain of police detectives. When I was in my early 20s, I realized how much this man had loved me. And so I secretly went to a court and had my name changed to McCarty. And that's the story of my name. Growing up Filipino American, that type of story sharing was embedded in our culture. We call it making cuento. More and more, the corporate culture is embracing how making cuento is the best way for us to communicate and connect with our coworkers and our team. So in Playfair Online, we managed to have some fun by making cuento about our humble and sometimes hilarious beginnings in the workplace. My first job was at a coffee shop. Selling cutlery door to door. Was at Popeyes. I worked as a cook. So I was presenting a snake named Lennox. I'll never forget this. That summer I had the worst acne because we wore these visors that basically had like an inch of chicken grease on it. I didn't sell very many of them. I think I might have sold one to my mother. I see out of the corner of my eye. 
this little girl. And I could see the mischief on her face. She reached out and she pet Lennox hard in the opposite direction of his scales. Kids were like, ah! Because I grabbed him right behind his head at 14 years old. And me and Lennox were staring at each other. And his mouth was like, ah! My supervisor heard the screaming, came over and was like, you can let go, Takara. You can let go. And uh, shortly thereafter, I quit. <laughs> And I got a job at McDonald's. <laughs> in Playfair's signature rock, paper, scissors tournament, for example, the players learn how to support each other, win or lose. Okay, ready and rock, paper, scissors, go. Remember, if you win, do your little victory dance. If you lose, wave goodbye, turn off your camera. All our team building experiences are fun, but not just for fun. They give the players the chance to practice essential skills for building a successful team. Amazingly, whenever I play or do things like this, I feel just more connected with people. That was completely unique and wonderful. I didn't think we could connect through Zoom, but we did it. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> These breakout rooms are being utilized in a way that I get to know my colleagues. The games just make me smile, so thank you. I felt safe, I felt confident, I felt uh, I could just express myself. Can we do more of this? I had so much fun. This was a nice break. Definitely the highlight of the, of the conference. It was exciting, interesting, engaging. I loved every minute of it. Finally time to have some relaxation on Zoom. Not frustration, not work, not hassle, but just relaxation. Finally. Are you ready to start managing to have fun? Visit our website and bring Playfair Online to your next team meeting, special event, or conference.